Yes. Brian, we gotta go. Yeah. going? Yeah. All right, I want to thank you guys all for coming tonight. We're so glad you could be here. And this, see, this the Joshua Movement is not just a ministry to the homeless. We're an outreach ministry. And this past Sunday, we partnered with Pastor Glenda Sutton of Family Affairs Ministries, who's over in East Nashville, and the Berkshire apartment complex. We were able to feed 194 people with the food that we've been given each and every week that we, we come out here with for you guys. But we were able to partner with them and feed over 195 families that are living in housing, in Section 8 housing, but they still need the help. See, that's the thing. I was When I was homeless, we got housing, but then we still didn't have what we needed. And I understand that there's a lot of people that come through this line that they have housing, but guess what? When they wake up in the morning, they still have nothing to eat. And I get that. Because we were there, we knew every single food pantry to go to, every church we could go to, and then you could only go to a certain place once a week. We had it all down pat. We had it down. We knew what we had to do. Way where there seemed to be no way, but that's the whole thing about Jesus. See, it's like I say every week, it's the personal relationship that each and every one of us can have with Jesus Christ. Because see... When John the Baptist came, he was pointing towards Jesus. He did what was the baptism of repentance because he knew Jesus was coming. He knew the Messiah was coming. He said, you need to repent, to repent of your sins. And he taught that, and he taught that well. See, and he even baptized Jesus himself. And when Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit came down. And it said, it descended from heaven like a dove and landed on Jesus. And the Lord said, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased. Because see, John knew the whole time he was, he was in ministry. That his ministry was, he was the forerunner. He was pointing the way to Jesus. But he was like, listen, I'm not the Messiah. I'm not the one that's coming. Because the one that's coming, I'm not worthy to even hold his sandals. He knew that. He knew that he could only point the way. See, and then the disciples were there with Jesus. They walked with him. They talked with him. They were taught by him. And then when he, he ascended into heaven, he said, I'm going to send my helper. I have to go away. So I can send my helper, my comforter, the Holy Spirit. See, that's the whole thing is that we need the Holy Spirit because without it, we're lost. Because see, that's what the Apostle Paul found when he was going to, he ended up in Ephesus. And he was there and he met these disciples. And it says in the Bible, they were disciples. But they weren't disciples of Jesus. They were disciples of John. They knew of the baptism of John because he asked him, he said, have you been baptized? And they said, yes, the baptism of John. And he goes, okay, but do you know the Holy Spirit? And they said, literally, they went, and, and I was the same way because I was baptized but I didn't know Jesus. I was walking around like those 12 men, like those 12 men in Ephesus that had been baptized because they knew it was the right thing to do and they repented of their sins, but they were still walking around lost because without the Holy Spirit, we're still not fully in Christ Jesus. And that's the whole thing is that person relationship and there was a man named Apollos that was there and he was preaching and he was teaching on the baptism of John and, and pointing the way to the Messiah because that's what he was taught. And two people were 
They were filled with the Holy Spirit, filled with the Holy Ghost. They pulled them aside and said, listen, you're preaching right, but you're missing one thing. The most important thing here on this earth, which is the Holy Spirit. And then he became one of the most amazing apologists, apologetic teachers about the baptism of the Holy Spirit and about pointing the way to Jesus Christ himself. Because see, when those men met Paul, he said, listen, I need you to understand that you got partway there, but he only could teach you that Jesus was coming. I know who Jesus is, and I'm going to teach you about him because he's the way, the truth, and the life, and the only way to the Father is through Christ Jesus himself. And he showed those men that, and they were baptized in the Holy Spirit that day. And that's possible for every single one of us who believe in Christ Jesus. And it's that personal relationship that you can have that you're afforded because of the work that was done on the cross. Because Jesus shed his blood for each and every one of us. For our salvation, for our healing, and for eternal life. Because that's what it is, the eternity with Christ Jesus. That's why we're out here each and every week. Yes, we want to bring you food, but we also want, you bring, want to bring you the Word of God, which is the, it's literally the manna from heaven. It is the, the only way that you're going to get that personal relationship with Jesus is to get in the Word of God and to look it up yourself and to, and to come to the realization that it's the living Word. It's alive, it's still alive. It's the same word that was written, that was preached by Jesus and the disciples. It's possible to, for each and every one of you to have that personal relationship with him. And I just wanna say thank you to the, the people that have sown into this ministry because we got an amazing donation this past week that allowed us to be able to get stuff we desperately needed for you guys. And it's, it's the way that this ministry runs. It's the only way it runs is through donations from people that God puts it on their heart to sow into this ministry. That's the only way we keep going. So if it's put on your heart to sow in this ministry, please do it. We have a link on the screen. Uh, it's in blue letters. You can click on it. And you got to put the Joshua movement in it. And you also can text to give. Because see, these amazing men and women out here in Nashville that are unhoused, that are going to get out of the circumstance they're in. Because it's possible, because we did it ourselves, that's why we're out here. When you donate to our ministry, it goes directly to the people that are in this line. That's the way this ministry works. Because we need to be the hands and feet of Jesus on the streets. Because you, every single one of you matter. You might not feel like it. You might think that you're not going to get out of your circumstance you're in. But you can and you will. If you put your faith in Christ Jesus, he can get you out of it, whether you realize it or not. So I bless you with this word. I bless the food and nourishment of our bodies in Jesus' name. Amen.